Rivich. It's about to get underway. Conditions pretty good. Here we go, Dino. And old boys, yeah, go from right to left. Kicking it deep and a great kick there by Ho Chuck, who's gone straight out there, putting putting old boys uh, under the under the pressure straight away. That was a great kick by Jackson Holmes. I don't it's only a 40 metre kick there, actually. Yeah. By Young Barrett. So yeah, it was actually good. It looks like Ho Chuck has got the win from right to left, that may change come maybe uh, 3 well, o'clock this afternoon. Earlier on it was uh, coming in from the left, not going to the left, so that'll be interesting. Knock on the line out there, and no advantage, so scrum down for old boys. Always nice to see a scrum first in the PC who can sort of dominate this area. Uh, By the looks of things, uh, old boys here has got good good size over there. We don't have the weight ratios between the two squads, but um, I'd say pretty even. Looking at it, well, then let's have a bit of a look and see who's got the longest sprint on in the day. Uh, great crowd here at Memorial Park. It's a great venue to bring your cars and your picnic and set up your tents and uh, makes the ca camera look actually really good when there is something in the background. <laughs> Yep, feed in here. Oh, no. Referee's reset again as he's doing the reset. Um, just looking on the sideline over here, we've got um, Adam Thompson, uh, one of the co-coaches for Old Boys. Uh, and hats off to Adam, he's literally had about 60 minutes since Curtin Rhodes are playing for the B team. Um, he does that on a regular basis, so hey, that's what you want to see with uh, your Prem co coaches. I actually, back, I actually you know? asked him, I said, Are yeah. you playing today? And he goes, The bees. He goes, No, I'm a bit too old these days for the Prems. No. So, I mean, hey, it was not, not that long ago that he was playing Prems. Ah, so, got it. Okay, reset again. Third reset, probably next one you think, if uh, Bev, it's going to yeah. be the old... Uh, Bev Reese had enough. Short arm. Only problem is when you do that, just five metres outside the 22, the uh, team of the ball generally will put it down another, which you, which you don't want to see after three resets. Yeah, well, this scrum is reset, so it'll be interesting later on to see what the uh, the scores are out there in this premiership, um, because there could be some movement. There'll be plenty of movement after today. Oh, there will be, and as we were talking uh, pre-game, the, the, it's, it's a five-team comp now. There we go. Oh, wow. yeah, there we go. Just a predicted. Wasn't too sure which way it was going to go, but that's a penalty for Hotaku. Uh, long arm, so you'd be a clever man and go for the three points. I know Thursday night uh, they had a Waikato wide referees meeting and uh, Michael Winter was leading that about around the scrum work and that. Um, so, fair enough. No, who am I to say? Oh, you know? Yeah. Dino, it's the reason why we commentating and not play. Yeah, maybe right. they know something more than I, but they've gone for the going for touch, not quite the one who's wanted to the corner. I was actually asked if I wanted to play today. Uh, Kevin raised it to the um, Dr. Dunn. The two Tiaraho teams taking on each other. I said, no, no sorry. You stick to your day job, that's uh, on live stream, my friend. Okay, Ho Chuck has lost that line out, so old boys are sort of working their way outside of the 22 of the kick. Doesn't look like it's going out. Not backwards, play on. Good quick ball there, David Morris in support there. Carried by Mr. Johnson, welcome back to Aiden. No. Oh, I would like to say good morning to Fraser Bird, but um, I think Hamilton's dropped that pretty cold. Yeah, and I'm sure Fraser Hamilton, who's uh, had his dad from Scotland, is watching this game live. Um, probably not the best part, uh, the catch it first up, but Hammy will make sure he will rectify that one a bit later on. It's quite pleased with the uh, pre-season game that he had uh, for the Chiefs against Moana Pacifica. Earlier on this year, he had a pretty good second half when he came on onto the field for that one. Yeah, I was commentating and 
streaming that one. Yeah, no, he's been a great, great asset here in, in the Waikato. Um, you know, came, as we all know, he's came from uh, Scotland. Um, Aberdeen. Um, yeah, and he's literally made and submitted himself and in, in, in within the troops, especially in the FPC squad. Old boys running it up, hitting 10 metres in towards their half. Big boys are slowly coming around the corner. Ball's a bit slow there for old boys, so that allows the hotel to D up. That's speeding up a little bit more. Here comes the big ball carrying through. Pass has gone a little bit wayward there. Nice! Wasaki to clean that mess up. Aiden Johnson. Good yeah, carry. One, mate. Good old Warwick Hill, Stavey Morris. Lovely to see those type five out there doing some um, back skills. Got a slight injury in the background there, looks like. Uh, Hamilton 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 yeah. Very, very physical. No one's really dominating the collision at the moment. And from the side going against the home team there. Uh, Hamilton and Burns got up, shaking his head, come through and cleared out from um, from the side. So, sure, it'll take uh, more than that to keep him down. No, no, he's a bit of a tough, tough one now, uh, Hamish. The other thing we have to say about him, uh, Dino, is that he's a pretty bloody good. He's a really nice guy too. Yeah, no, he's been. Um, he's come from a coach education background. He worked a lot with kids in the clubs, developing players over in Scotland, including here in the White Cup. So, yeah, both uh, him and his lovely uh, wife to be, Beyonce, um, have settled here in Cambridge. I think that kick for touch might actually make the. Uh, well, I would well, like to say the highlights real, yeah, but. No, um, no, they think should, that might be have taken my advice early on and gone for the three points, but uh, yeah, the wind's starting to pick up. All boys are still on that half since kickoff. Um, here we go. Let's see if uh, Big Josh Lord is going to dominate this middle space. That missed time right there. JT Thomason kicks to the far corner. That's a great kick. That was. If it stayed in. No. No, it was a great idea. The wind's actually kicking it all the way. Um, taking it a little bit further than they expected, but the wind is picking up there, Bev. I think that was the reason why the uh, Hamilton Old Boys clearance uh, to touch was probably about eight metres well, um, into the wind. It was. Yeah. Well, you'd be silly enough to take that wind, but that wind probably a good maybe, uh, ooh, could be 10, ten points. Oh, I was going to say the same thing. There, make it, up. Make it oh. 11. Make it 11 just to prove me wrong, for sure. Good. Here we go. Solid to throw. Nice throw. T Raider, get that down on his 99th cap for all boys. As the crowd has their own opinion here at Memorial Park on that call. It's a bit like Melville, you definitely know what the crowd think. And there's nothing wrong with it, it's always good to sit in amongst the crowd here. I'm looking at Jake Morland over here, he's totally bemused about that call. He agreed with the referee, I'm sure. Old boys finally out of their half, inside of uh, about uh, 30 metres out from the try line. Let's see what they're going to do on attack. Got to hit big uh, Josh Lord. Oh, replay, yep, yeah, no. I tell you replay. what, they're asking for the big, the big screen. It's only, I think it's 22 inches, that one, <laughs> that you've got, Dina. It's not yours, it's mine, but you know, the one that you're looking at. That great, great throw there. Oh. And knock on advantage plate. Oh. Waisaki, he's renowned to run it, and that's probably not one of his best kicks. So uh, oh, that's I, a, I probably would have said that. So he shows why he's this, why he's renowned to run. Uh, <laughs> All so knock on old boys still struggling to get some um, dominance in any facets of their play. So hold up and scrum. Can't if clever enough, you'd want to win it and bang it into the corners, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that wind is probably spilled around back to behind the now. It's almost coming over uh, from top left now. It's great. Nothing we can do about that pole, sorry folks. Uh, the new uh, technology that was introduced a few years ago called the VO camera tracks the ball. Um, especially when you've got a bit of a 
uh, not, not so great tripod um, like I do. Um, it always uh, picks up a bit more than what I'm able to. Well, we've got the, probably the camera of Bev. Bev's uh, live stream camera has actually got half of the VO, the VO stand in the middle there. Do you, know, you know, just about most clubs use it these days. Football love it, um, and it means that you don't have to try and pay someone to do camera. And just, yeah, a bit of, bit of a blog out there for any of those clubs or any association out there. There's a via the Waikato Rugby Union for, for rental, so don't be afraid to contact us at the union uh, for a good, good donation. Any level. Hope up the scores, good phase, and they're kicking it through. Not quite one, but they're the kids. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, no, we're a great day at a non-biased crowd here in Cambridge. <laughs> we're only trying to help the referee. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Anyway, and, and yeah, no, no, my point was that Hotel has got the ball from the penalty. And we're just uh, <laughs> wishing our mate Kevin Clark, our, our ex groundsman is uh, all his best recovery. Talk, you gonna say the flight? No, no. We haven't heard from him. He'll be, 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 he'll be,
like most teams, attacking teams, it's just tough to sort of defend that driving more. Uh, kia ora to a Chapman turning in, who commentated with me at United Motor Motor Sports last year. Hope you well, Nate. Yeah, Andrew Smith's up there on the, on the, on the catch again. Hope he's got a nice little platform to go, uh, to go oh, forward to. Come on, boys! 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 He's gone for a timeout, wants to do the review, he wants to come up and have a chat with me. I might be able to run a replay through um, after the decision is made. Yeah, not too sure about it. Yes! Yeah. 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 That try was young Mr. Nick Jeffcoat. Five points on his name. I seem to love those ones in the line out. I saw one during the week, a photo um, that Matt from True Youth yep. Photography got of yep. scoring. Some experience similar last week. <laughs> Anything like that, those tries are always given to a number two, really. They just see goal on the back and take the opportunity. Um, but well done to Hotop on that one. Um, um, I'm sure old boys, they just need to get out of that half. Bit. They've been in that half for probably a while with the time now at the moment. Look up. Yeah, the clock's yep. not going, about 15 minutes. I've got 18. Um, give or take. Yep, 18 minutes, and old boys are struggling to get out of the half. While the uh, the kick has been taken, hey, uh, congratulations to uh, uh, Pena Finau from Old Boys, who's uh, been in the new um, inducted All Black. Um, just does a really nice guy, um, you know, watching him when they're in. Chiefs are right at home, he's down there helping out the Old Boys culture trainings. Uh, the friends are down on their field, uh, Frank Jones, uh, but he's up on Willoughby uh, running around with the Colts. And, just the way he gives back to uh, these younger kids. So. I've only ever heard positive things about yeah, Simon Penny. No. Congratulations, and I'm sure Lonnie will be uh, looking forward to some of that kids. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back way to the right, I think. Yeah, do a drop short, and uh, kicks unsuccessful. That gives us that fight. Here's the replay here, just the end of that mall, and yeah, odd boys players all over the place. Yeah, just Evan. disintegrated, and I hope we had a little bit of uh, a bit of control. Nineteen minutes gone, halfway through the first half, and uh, as I said, it's a ten-point win. Hamilton Bird takes the kickoff. Aiden Johnson's been uh, very, uh, very, uh, very active in the first quarter. Looking for a box kick now by uh, Young Farron. That's a great kick. Got a little bit of snow on that one. Old oh boys nearly isolated there from that kick. They've regathered, come back again. Referee's got the arm out. Great advantage. Yeah, I think Hotel have just come off their feet at the last second there as they arrived. And yeah, penalty is given. Yep. Not supporting the body weight. Just as they arrived, they've just fallen over. Bev, technically, you're outstanding with those. Uh, it pays to be an ex referee. <laughs> Got, got a couple of other referees beside me here too. The Jeffries, Paul and Lee. Yep, yep, great to see uh, the Jeffries here doing uh, a little bit of uh, support for our local referees in the game. <laughs> Please get hold of the union though, folks, if you're interested in becoming a referee, we need more of them. Uh, you can see the numbers dwindling at the lower grades. Oh, that's another great throw. Didn't hit the target though, but um, these conditions, not bad for Sully. Great throw. David Morris has just gone over the top of that. Yeah, old boy, sort of just struggling with that line out the bottom. Young Smith, is, he can jump, he can kick, run, and he's, he's, he's total package at the moment. Oh. That's a bit of an awful uh, parents kick, putting so much pressure on the old boys line. Two hooks going, she's got to go wide on this one here. Uh, young Jeff Coates going for his second drive. 
Good carry by Davy Morris. The old boys is working hard to try and get off of the line there and try and shut Ho Chuck it down. Pick and go, they're sort of grinding away meter by meter. Going again, it might have run into a bit of a red and black brick wall then. Going wider. Great pass. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a magnificent try taken out wide. And that looks like young uh, young Gregory Ring. Young Fatty Lofa. Oh, no, I think I've Fatty that Lofa there. Quinton scored it. And he's creeping up there to be one of the top try scorers in the competition at the moment. So that was a great one. Uh, that's his 10th try of the season. He, he, of the he's season. third on, on, the, on the list. Oh boy, put themselves under pressure. They struggle to get outside of the half. Here's the kicked no, wrong replay, sorry. Yeah. That was, now, that the, was the original try early on to uh, Nick Jeffcoat. We've got Quinton here scoring and adding that on to his uh, telling of tries. Colts result in the second. Conversion's gone on. That's what to get to sit down there, Damien. Young Barrett, ready to take the conversion. Shouldn't have left it too up there. Conversion. It's the league's on this time, but put away the lead. Right, uh, the flags don't go on. Sorry, Damien. Uh, Hotabu by a lot, was it? Yeah. Okay, so Hotabu beating University and the Colts. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was a okay. reasonable score when 31, I left. 31-5. 31-5, OK. And that's good at Varsity's come over from Hamilton due to the grounds closure in, in the Hamilton Council. So, um, back to the Council to play that game. So, current score is 21 minutes gone, 10-0 to Hotapu. And, yeah, as I said earlier on, old boys are just really struggling to get out of their half. And when they do, they, they don't sort of hold on to that ball for too long. So, Coach Ross and... Uh, Adam will be uh, sort of revisiting the, those uh, scenarios at half time. Tahiri Riha, him and Aiden Johnson having a great day out there, Carrie. Yeah, you can see what they do, pretty simple, isn't it? Just win their, win their kickoffs, hit it up once, and then plug, get out of trouble, pump it down there, and then hopefully. Oh boys out taking the ball into how they kicked it away. I'm not just sure where that was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the young Liam Wilson, I'm not too sure about um, what his background is, but they had a great opportunity to counter-attack. Um, and then plug it into the far corner, even bring it back to the forwards just to recycle. Um, they've just kicked great quality ball away, which they can't afford to. Uh, being 10-0 down, especially into this, uh, into this one, took the ball straight out on the full, hosts up the line out at halfway. Another throw there to the ad. And that's why Josh Lord is an All Black. He just took that, plucked that out of the air from the Hotel and throat. Old boys taking it up, making probably a couple of yardage in, in, in the ball carry, but probably four or five metres backwards from the pass. Still inside their half, going over to the dummy through. Saki, he wants to have a go, but referee bringing it back off the mark. I've just had uh, Lee Jeffrey write down on my note um, notes to say that Ben Brownlee, Ben Willerton, and Michael Winter have made the national squad, national right? referee squad this year. Oh, right. So congratulations to all three. And congratulations. Um, Winter will be shouting morning tea at work on Monday. Well done to those fine young athletes. Yes, I've been Brown, Willerton, and Winter. Have, been in the squad before, Brownlee's first year this year, and those are the ones that are uh, officiating at FBC for Palmer Heartland Cops. Oh, good, it just shows there's a good pathway for these up and coming referees. So. And Andrew Smith's taking another clean ball. I hope Topper's blown out, been actually blown out successful so far. 
It seems like they're um, just sort of making yards, not so much at will, but they're consistently going in the right direction they want to be. Ball's being stripped out. And it just seems like old boys sort of hit that panic button as soon as they get a turnover. They're just sort of... They're just trying to get out of it, aren't they? They just don't want to play anything down uh, their own, inside their own half. They've either kicked possession away and then put pressure on again. So once again, Hotop is on, on attack. About uh, 40 metres out from the try line in the old boy's half. <coughs> uh, you put money on the bag here because old Nick Kevin Coates being thrown over that uh, outstanding to Hamilton Burr. And there's big uh, Loaki carrying in midfield there from our number eight position. Aiden Johnson, look at that, he, he should be a back. Yeah. Well, there's, there's the back. Andrew Smith being lingering out on the loose board out on the uh, outside channels and doing well in the carry. Hotup is still, still in that sort of 20, uh, 22 metres. JT Thomas, Fatty Alofa. Oh, now that was absolutely well done. Scattered in defence by Elvis. Uh, they had to yeah, shoot across the cover all of that one because young Waisaki was uh, leaning, leaning into the corner. Well, you could just hear the crowd react as soon as he got that ball. Uh, you've got to go to, you've got T Ray and Josh Lord there. Josh, T Ray's over at the back. Ah, well, that's nice and straight. According to the referee, it's going to play on. Turn over. Oh! Running for them um, with old boys here. It's a great option in the back. That was a big risk taking a throw at the back of the lineup. Um, they got away with that and they lost position in the contact and uh, still put forward. Picked it up by Hope's up a couple of passes with JT Thomason um, under the post for another five points. So um, old boys have been very, very disappointed um, in the first 30 minutes. Um, they just seem to shut out the game at the moment. Yeah, I think we've just looked at it as kick, they just seem to be panicking, kicking the ball away too much. Um, not building enough phases. That's right. Just, just, just letting it you know. Just, 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 yeah. Just letting it you know. And that conclusion is on over. Nothing but trouble. Oh, good story about this, really. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> there is a good story, isn't there? I've never paid you to stop ever in their life. Never, never. 780, no, 28, uh, nearly half an hour gone. 17 0, no. so uh, maybe it might be a 17 point win, uh, Bev, but. Um, yeah, as we said, uh, all boys are coming into this game uh, ranked fourth. Hope Top is ranked number one. Um, but there's not much difference uh, in, the, in the top four. Odo's sitting on the bottom with um, all their matches um, as a loss, and I'm sure they'll kick on back. But uh, yeah, she's a pretty tough uh, top four at the moment. Looks like these bugs. Push the button there. I'm having my uh, greatest day behind Gibber at the moment. And, um, Sorry, oh, folks. This number 10, Kipson from uh, Hotaku. Uh, I haven't really seen much of him. And, um, no, it seems to be another young player coming through. Well, I mean, uh, hey, and he's, he's kicked well. And, um, he's controlled the game well. He's, he's actually uh, put, the, put the ball in front of the fourth pack. He's done everything up. Yeah, let's see what old boys. Old boys just got to keep possession and, hold, and just build phases and get into that whole top of 22 and put pressure on them. But at the moment, they're just sort of either kicking it away, throwing it away, and just uh, yeah, not controlling it to break down. So big shout out to my mate Foxy here. He's listening to me. I've been learning some magnificent words from that man. Fabulous. Foxy, I hope you're listening to my friend. And, uh, 
uh, text me a couple of tips if I'm doing the job well enough. And uh, Josh, <laughs> Josh Rolls gets sat down. And a bit of the old boys number nine being sort of <laughs> Old boys just right. holding off a little bit there, just not getting those numbers to secure the ball. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Hi, Daniel! I hate to make this comparison, Dino. This is the first time that I've been on the stream um, in the Waikato since, but it's kind of reminding me about a team in blue last Friday night at, at the moment. I mean, that, uh, that Friday night game, the reason why the Crusaders are in the final tonight um, is a bit, bit worse. <laughs> Than, uh, than, than how old boys are doing at the moment. That wasn't predicted. Hamilton Birds, another throw. Good throw by Nick Jeff Coaten. Uh, Hamilton Birds have plucked that out and, and then sort of, yeah, took off in the line out. JT Thompson carries up. He's been around for years, that man. He'll be coming up to another 100, 100 caps again. Uh, oh! Hey, so well done. He's having a big good line speed by old boys. Uh, they need to just probably do a little bit more of that to clamp hopes up back down in, the, in their own half. Andrew Smith has a busy, he's had a busy first half so far. Yes! Barnett for a high tackle. Hotop is still playing the advantage here, and David Morris is picking goes through the middle. Clear it out, referees come all the way back. No, it's taken, go back from the high jump. From, from a coaching point of view, Dino, we've had a change um, in rules this year. Table, the first tackler must be below the um, sternum. How, how have players found that as the season's gone on? Uh, yeah, players. Or as a coach, no, coach it's, as well. it's, it's been a. Um, I've been a bit of a process for players to understand that. Do you know? think they've adjusted well enough? Uh, well, yes, I, I think we had to, players had to, because yep. referees were being quite, you know, they were enforcing the law. Yes, so, and what you needed too with, with that law yeah, coming again, yeah, whether you agreed with it or not. And we as coaches, we couldn't afford those um, those penalties against that because um, we weren't adapting to it. So, yeah, we had to learn pretty quickly from the coach to players and then hopefully a better outcome. So, another good line out there by Hotop for that drive. Whether they'll say it in the backs, want it? Oh. Oh, yes. oh, the number six from Old Boys there. I think, uh, if I have a look at my team list, sorry. Yeah, uh, to be, Kenny Fanua just comes through and just disrupted things, and he's quite right, entitled to. He was through the middle, still attached to the mall. Would you buy a just for, just for it's some. taken 32 minutes to have that coffee coming <laughs> <laughs> coming Just for some of our listeners out here in the grandstand, they came through the middle. <laughs> I think that's what I tried to say, Dean. Apparently I was wrong. <laughs> Here we go again, old boys putting themselves under pressure. You've got a scrum here, literally about uh, oh, 18 minutes from the try line. Um, I, I, I do tell a few people a few stories, and some of them are from in this grandstand here because we are sitting amongst the crowd. But I don't mind it at all. It adds atmosphere. You've got, uh, well, I don't know if you'd call them knowledgeable, but some wise, some wise guys. Some wise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, now I'm getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I got the response I was looking for, Dina. <laughs> no, you're doing well, buddy. You haven't been eating a lot so far. <laughs> oh, great platform here at Scrum here. Old boy just put in a bit of a shove on. One of the referees, is he going to sort of... Uh, oh, well, they can only go in a metre and a half now. Good tackle coming in from one of the hotel players. Great tackle there by young uh, Barrett at nine. Yeah. And once again, they'll be disappointed just giving the position it. away. It, it, it's a very lenient five metres they've probably made on that kick. Yeah, they, 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 they doesn't seem like they've got any other initiative outside of the box, looking to try and create like short runners here with JT Thomason. Yeah. Not sure about the pass by his mate, Davy Morris. Hamilton Burt, as always. Burring his way through. Oh. 
shot up again. Uh, yeah, it's the second old, big old tackle. Boys, yeah, the old boy's done that twice now and um, be quite effective both times. Tahiti Riha sang it out in that midfield there. It's like a potential 1 3 3 1 process here. Yeah, getting out. Yeah, yeah. And the ball going out. No, it's been kept back in there. Play by Young Quinton. Here's that young Christian kicked it into the corner. Great clever kick too. Oh boys want to have a bit of a go. Got numbers out here too. That's not a bad breaking kick there. It's about looks like a good 30 plus 40 meters. Here comes the big lefty. Oh, play on. Not and play on here. And a kick's going into the touch and young uh, Yeah, someone's copped the young copped it? Yeah, well young Kitson just seem to be just doing the basics well, eh? Um, nothing flash. Um, but yeah, it's just got a nice kick on it. Well. For old boys like they've made probably 10, 15 metres now from that full Yeah, well 36 minutes into the half and all boys are finally back into the uh the hotel for half only by about four or five metres. <laughs> Once again, there's T Ray making the line out calls here, playing his 99th yeah. cap for old boys. Took Aapu with the throw. That was a lot of the throw for old boys. Yes! And the old boys. Keep proud of number four. Josh Lord will be uh, disappointed with that. Probably uh, just showing his. The game time is head of weight. <laughs> yeah, I think the old oh boys just got to hold on, just got to get the position and keep it. Um, I think they've got to wake up first. Yeah, well, um, they might be the, probably the little bit happier going into half time at the moment if the score stays the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't concede any more points. Yeah. No, I think they still said all okay with 17 points going into the half, uh, yeah. half time. Uh, it's not the, not the end of the world for them. They've just got to go back and fine tune and think like, hey, Get position, keep position, and just uh, keep momentum. It's just those small moments like that uh, that sort of just take you right out of the equation. And they've got to use the moments as well. Yeah. Great scrum by Old Boy, put a lot of pressure on. Ho up is cleared it up. Here's Young Kitson again. That left foot, it's, uh, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice breaking kick. Out of the foot. Yes! Unlucky. And that's twice. Uh, oh, I don't think that's three times in this, in this first half. One for Hotepi, two for Old Boys. It's precision kicking like that that uh, will either, you, will either um, make you not make the finals or cost you the finals. But a tempo play here in the line out. Another great option in the line out there by Hotepi. Picked up by Hamilton Burr. Here's Andrew Smith again. Hey, some of these young boys have been busy this morning, yeah. this afternoon, sorry. Sonia Lofa, ball in the plate. It's morning somewhere. Picking go. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the tempo of the ball. But Karen making yards at will at the moment, yeah, Ben. Yeah, of course, just sitting on the heels. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, 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 And that's a great try to Young Farron. He's been probably rewarded on his great work around the base of the scrum, getting the ball and turning it out. So he just saw, uh, saw that uh, hole on the, on the blind and took it. Had 10 metres to run, wasn't an easy 10, um, but went untouched in the end, basically. Yeah, he's uh, sort of serving his apprenticeship, you know. He's uh, been following a couple of good nights here at the club. I've uh, had an opportunity today through unavailabilities and injuries. Yeah, so we see Quentin Nato is uh, unavailable at yep. the moment. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, and this young guy Farrant, um, straight out of uh, not long out of St Peter's, just up the road. If you just don't know where St Peter's High School is.
Uh, looks like they're making a substitute to know that takes a score with the count 22 mil. And uh, young Tuhoi is coming off. Um, literally, I think he's carrying a bit of an injury right on half time. The kick is. <laughs> And the kick is over, it's actually surprised us all. Um, 39 minutes dead, and um, I don't think a lot of people would have seen this score uh, um, come out here at Memorial Park. We, we had a couple of um, choices for the weekend for the live stream, and we came here because, um, I think thanks to your help, no Dana, that was part of the reason. Well, I hope um, Murray Mining's here or listening, and uh, um, um, he might have to buy the first round of beers afterwards in the club room. So, kick long, great safe kick here by Kristen again. He's got a great kick, great, not too far from halfway. Oh boy, once again back in the half. Um, the time is up on the clock. No, it's already about 37 minutes on live stream here. Yeah, it's give or take, I think. Give or take in the referee's hand. Not always accurate, folks. Um, Someday I'll get as much money and uh, technology as Sky has to yeah. be hooked up to the referee. But if you sort of look around, there's sort of a bit of a buzz and energy within that hotel and forward pack. Just the way that they get themselves, they know they're on top. Uh, get themselves organised, uh, communications, and all boys shit just a little, a little bit sort of off, offbeat. And let's see if that'll change come half time. Had a good take. We talked about old boys just getting position, let's see if they can hold it for longer periods of time. Not sure this is the right option at about uh, 40 metres out. David Myers has come through the middle. Fed up, play on. And this is what they're wanting now. Old boys here, got all the fours banked up on the right hand side. Clear and out, David Morris has got his hand. Tell you what, Dino, uh, David Morris has done really well there. He took quite a bit of a knock there as he got hit by the ball carrier, but then just to be able to let go, get straight over the top of it and claim the penalty. Well, that's half time, and um, the whole boys have been very disappointed with that one. Um, they had, they had support, they had... Cambridge Memorial Park, uh, Dana Hiruani, just before country, it's 24 mil here, but um, up the road in Hamilton, uh, we've got one score, 3 mil, which is Lawrence will be in the university. And here we go. Old boys, oh, they've actually held on to it for three phases. Not bad, looks like they've brought on a, a bit of a replacement there in the midfield. Okay, Kerry might be isolating himself here. He's got a lot of is he? Referee, then referee's... Uh, oh. 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 putting themselves under immense pressure there. How little birds going back to tidy that up? Farron's going in to clear it up and hopefully yeah, old boys will probably want to capitalise and keep them down in bait. Great opportunity as I said, it was a 17 to 10 point win but um, <laughs> the young uh, gets in here and old boys dropping the counter, we're going to have a crack or that, yep. Need to recycle now, get numbers for the breakdown. Fours need to get back in a position, a couple of old boys Ball's walking back, so it's not, that's not a good sign at half time. <laughs> now we've got some big ball carriers here. Hope referee's got his arm out. Potentially, probably either offside or tackle height. Old boys playing with the potentially at the moment. Yep, yep. Out of oranges. And referee's gone for the offside there, as predicted. And uh, we've got old boys number 23, he's come on to the field, and, and we don't have a number 23. No, we're 23, 24, and 25. Um, so I apologise to old boys uh, supporters. We can only go by what, what we're given. 
and that's a great kick at about seven metres out from the corner flag. Uh, and uh, we've had, uh, in the, in the, in the uh, spectators just down in the, uh, the bleachers in the front, we've got the All Black uh, coach Ian Foster who's come down to watch his, uh, his son-in-law, Nick Jeffcoat, Ho Tapu Hoka. Well, uh, uh, next to the green top. And old boys taking that ball in, not quite the best platform to, to go through. Got pods off the off the midfield here. Oh gone through, missed tackle there, and carried well. So old boys need to capitalise on this. Keep position up, piggies pick and go. And nice shift ball off that bottom of that rough there. All boys are working towards the goalpost. Want to try and get as close as you can to get those extra two points. A bit slow on this platform here. Now it's Hotapu to reset. Coming back the other way. Hotapu are making it slow and, and awkward for them. Pick and go again. Still not over the line, old boys. Still pick and go. Let's make it another pick and go. Uh, this time here going out to the He's been nearly isolated. <laughs> yeah, they, do. they need to be a little bit more composure to make sure that they don't isolate themselves and go do their own thing here, old boys. So. Yeah, now they've got players with themselves. With them. Now they're working a little bit of a structure here. Yeah, they've got numbers all banked out here. Number 20, I think it's 24, 25 all out there waiting for a pick to go there. Here comes the big timber. Here we go. Here we go. Looks like getting held up. There we go. Referee's right there making the call. Still can't get over. Go. Gotta go wide instead. No. And. No, that hasn't achieved anything at this stage here. Hope up with defence is probably sound at the moment. At the moment of course. By Andrew Smith. We'll ball off the rock again. Hotop has got to be disciplined here not to give away those penalties, being offside off your feet. Old boy still plugging it away here. So they can still keep it up for those uh, longer periods of time. This is the longest uh, facets of play old boys have had all day. They need to build that pressure in. Go from goal sideline to sideline here by the looks of things. Uh, Post up over the And that's a penalty there, players. Uh, turn over. Hamilton, Hamilton Birds come in and sort of let it rain. This is probably why people, uh, you got to love him to hate him, I suppose, old Hamilton. Yeah, it's a bit of a uh, push himself, and Hamilton's probably just letting them know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want him to be in your team, and you don't want him to be uh, planning on some proper things. Right? Yeah, I think uh, Ogwa was just a bit frustrated with themselves, considering a penalty that, uh, as you said, there was 10 plus phases in there. Do you know? Yeah. Um, they were pulling out very well. And it was a great opportunity for old boys to sort of consolidate a little bit of momentum to get those five points, if not seven. Um, reduce the score by giving confidence that they can actually hold on to the ball for longer periods of time. So just a bit of a talking to the captain saying, enough of that. Just, um, yeah, just go back, pull everything off, and then play some rugby. Yeah. And that's penalty for Taking hopes up and wide, out to the... 30 metre mark, give or take. That man second from screen. That's the uh, current All Blacks coach. There he is, down the bottom down yep. there. Good to see Fozzie here. Uh, Tell you what, he's been busy. Everyone's swapping around. He's talking, around. He's talking he's to people as well as watching the game. Yep. Great to see. No, no Fozzie. No, no, good to see He's a people's uh, man, though. People's man. Remember playing against him, probably skipped me a couple of times. Well, that's uh, right. If it was only a couple there, Dino. Oh, then he ran into Foz, probably. Uh, line out, not straight. Old boys back on uh, another attacking option, scrum down. So I just want to give a big shout out, out to um, the rugby community out there. Um, a lot of people will remember um, 
uh, Wayne Maxwell from the Wake Up the Rip Union. He I knew we were forgetting him. something, he's sorry Dino. Uh, not well at the moment, uh, he's taking a little bit of uh, leave, uh, um, uh, absent leave uh, from the Wake Up Union. He's been a coach, educator, lead in the, the union for a long, long time. And his role at Suburbs and as well as head coach. Suburbs as head coach here. So there's Chris a, Tane, Tane uh, taking over. Yep, Ch there's a charity, uh, the charity dinner at Eastern Suburbs um, and um, we're hoping to raise some money for Wayne. Way to I'm putting something on as well. So if you want to be part of that one, get a table, please. Get in contact with Foxy at the Union, um, and it'll be a great night to help. Uh, oh, uh, old boys through the middle, that's a great little punch through there. Yeah, Luke Massadeva there, the front. And that's a great try. Referee's caught it. Is he going over to have a look at his AR for any uh, confirmation or not? Uh, he's caught it, and that's old Luke Massadeva through the middle. A converted boost forward to fullback wing centre prop. Yeah, it's the uh, fullback that scored that for uh, Old Boys. Liam Wilson, I think. Yep. So, hey, guess what? Uh, yeah, they struggled to go the other way, quick and go. And, uh, yeah, it's just what they needed for someone to just straighten it up, get over that uh, gain line. And uh, Luca did that one with ease, actually. So that takes that score out to 20 points, 24 points to 5. So as I was uh, just finishing off, um, yeah, there's a fundraising event for uh, Wayne Maxwell and his family. He's not well at the moment, so if you want to support that event, the suburbs coming up in August, it's a Friday night, Folks, August even 11 to 12. Even if you don't know who Wayne Maxwell is, he is an awesome guy, yeah. great supporter of Waikato Rugby, yeah. women's rugby as yeah. well. Yeah, um, he's the FPC head coach in the women's team last year. Yeah, um, yeah he pretty much is a uh, big, strong stalwart. So, yeah, do get in touch with us at the White Country Union and love to get your support. There's a couple uh, of things out there. As, uh, old boys, as you said, Kai Peke Career Club, which yeah. is what uh, Foxy is involved with. He conversion away to the right. And there's a kick uh, unsuccessful. Um, that Cape Tech score out to uh, sort of 24 points and 5. Um, next week, Hamilton Old Boys have um, got their um, mental health uh, fundraiser. Yeah, mental health fundraiser. A lot of clubs are taking the initiative. Same with the Maris Bulldogs, the under 85s team. Um, anyone who knows, follows my page knows that mental health, especially this year, has been quite a big thing as part of me. Um, please get in behind. Unfortunately, I'll be in Japan um, with wheelchair rugby, so I won't be able to attend any of those. Um, but uh, mental health. Nothing can be overseen about it, can I tell you? Yeah, and, and congratulations to All Boys next weekend for taking the initiative. Uh, and that'll be a great celebration. But of course, uh, celebrating T Ray, uh, 100th cap for All Boys as well. So, uh, Mum and Dad will be very, really, very really chuffed with that one. So, yeah, let's kick off Hotop and Zach Shimmy again. We just had that, Dino. It was a great take off the kick off by Old Boys. Even though they had it and caught it, they, they uh, had the turnover, quick turnover. Out it went to the um, winger of Sunny Bowl, and yeah, he's over for his 15th this season. Well, yeah, yeah. Just to capitalise, uh, should have just cleaned up their own ball. That was a simple kick off. Um, didn't get the tall timber up to take that one. And then um, no, Hotaku got in, got in the space, got position straight away, moved it quickly, hit the space, and, and, and that sort of one pass put him in the, over the try line. So well done to Hotaku there. Uh, old boys have been yeah, pretty disappointed. They'll be filthy about it, to be honest, well, because they've just scored. Just scored their, their, their five pointer to get him back into the game a little bit. And, and they were back in the game. Yeah. They were playing well, they were building phases. Um, yes, a couple of silly little mistakes, but they've got that five pointer to bring back. While we're taking the kick here, uh, young Farrant, um, ex St. Peter's young boys. Yes! <laughs> 
picked it well, and as you can see, over in the backdrop of the two corporate tents of the Hopefuls, um, uh, they're quite voiced uh, vocal over there, and they, they are. I'm sure they're having plenty of hot chocolates and chocolate milkshakes as we speak. So, a uh, big shout out to the Hopefuls over in the far side of their corporate box. Old boys to kick off. The current score 31 points for five. Here we go. This is a bit of basic this number 10. He's got a great kick. Oh, my God. Uh, my understanding he's come down from Waiuku. I think he came down to watch a mate play for the Bees at Hotaku and ended up playing for them. And then, um, yeah, now he's been pulled into the A's uh, over the season. So good on him. Amongst all the centenary celebrations we've had this year, we've had Marist and uh, Fraser Tech. We've also had the Cambridge referees centenary. Yeah, well, as you might see a little bit close on the far side of the blue, uh, the touch touch, that's the, uh, the Cambridge referee colours. Um, Celebrating the 100. Look at that line out there. And we've been talking about Josh Law down with Andrew Smith. He's been sort of taking the limelight of the line outs at the moment, dominating that space. Hotel is making ground at will here today. Lost that turnover. Yes, was still on. Uh, uh, Masaru, okay, Masaru, you know, he's been around for years and you can put him anywhere, eh? You'll never disappoint you. And there we go, old boy's going to counter now. That's for sure about... Uh, Look at the 50-22. They've got it. 50-22 there. Yeah, they got it. Old boy's ball. Well done here. Yeah, that's a great kick. Oh, now we've got the forwards. Old boy's forwards are sort of jogging to the line. They've got a bit of a spring in their step. They can sort of sniff the line and uh, try line again. <laughs> You'd actually want to win this one and hit Masario in the midfield. There we go, Ronda, Ronda Ray. Old Woods trying to set their crap with disintegrate on the road of Oh, nice kick there by Solomon. Leading this team well. Hamilton and Burns trying to hold up the big boys. Oh. Now, this is probably the style of rugby that old boys like to play, that off road game. Hot up and probably need to shut those down in between players and their distribution, but there's uh, a bit of a snuff there. Old boys are making uh, a couple of meters at a time. These big boys love that. Love the carry. Yeah, but slower ball, that one. Ball was out. I don't think. It, I think everybody walked over the top of it and didn't realise that it skirted out the back. He's right. Looking at backdoor play here. Oh, oh, and as the crowd here agrees with the referee on the call, just roll right around behind the name. was actually woken up the start. He had very quiet the first half. And he's had a few good carries so far. Yes! Yes! Box kick we'll go down now. Old boys just need to push it, plug it into the corners. Should have given it early. Josh Lord is still ball in hand. Now he's been tackled. Foster down, uh, in, in, well, not in front of us, but off to the side of us. Seemed to have a wry smile about that exchange that was going on off camera. Yeah, no, no, yeah, a little bit off camera. JT Thomas and Josh Lord wanted to see what they're doing, organising dinner for someone. Catch it up, haven't seen each other for a while. 
How you doing, mate? Um, also, Dino, I've just been told congratulations to Ben and Larissa Willerton, referees in the Waikato, uh, having a bo- Larissa giving birth to a boy during the week. Oh, congratulations to both of them. You're really getting into no Josh's face here, unfortunately for him. That's a good flat from there by old boys now. Yeah, got a nice flat from down the back. Jeff Coates trying to go through the middle, over the top, trying to spoil the spoils, of course. Yeah, well done, Nick Defco. Yeah, well, we have got a vocal crowd here behind us here. <laughs> it's, it's always one of those games, you know, we don't need to commentate, just leave it to the crowd, eh? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I don't know, I mean, they've got to put up with us, definitely, but, you know. It's been the odd occasion where I've lost my voice or something else. So, yeah, old boys were disappointed about that, coming, um, Jeff Coat coming through the middle to spoil those. Um, the old boys had a good platform to get through. Uh, but, scrum time. <laughs> I'm sure Solly and his boys will probably give this from a bit of a nudge up front. Oh, the, the weather's starting to really pick up now. I have to get the, um, the, the slippers and the robe and the pipe out, I think, soon. A couple of layers here, Dino. Yep. I'm, I'm looking forward to the uh, 20 odd degrees the New Zealand summer that Tokyo's having currently in their winter. No, Story another game later on, and uh, to the all go. So, uh, it's, it's middle of June in New Zealand, and I tell you, they know you can't expect much more. No, no, no. They turn the lights on, we get all the spectators around the hill putting their lights on to the Utes. Oh, definitely, there's uh, enough out there on that hill. All boys giving that whole tough scrum a good nudge at three years. Come out wide. <laughs> Top of defense pushing up in the midfield. Yes! Oh, no, well done. We're all offside, Dusty! We're all offside! Oh. Oh. Well, there we go out here, Hotel yeah. protecting the line. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You want to give it to your speed straight away, wouldn't you? Here we go. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, that was class and then some, Dino. Yeah, um, yeah, no, pre- credit to um, old boys that have put themselves out, out of there and young uh, uh, picks in that fullback team uh, to push the ball out to the midfield and then all of a sudden you found the speed in Waitaki. Uh, a couple of interactive passes and then before you know it, hopes up with back over the line again. And it just seemed like they did it at will, you know. There was no pressure on the day. They found the space is pretty easy. And um, it's another five points on the board. Once again, old boys uh, probably should have kept the ball in hand a little bit more, but um, um, yeah, old boys need to sort of change, change it up a little bit now because uh, it's 19, 20 minutes, about halfway through the second half, and um, with the score as it is, they'll need to make some changes in their attack. Just a reminder folks, you can actually watch this game back, even while you're watching it live, you can rewind it as well um, to your heart's content. There'll be some highlights, packages, some yeah. photos from today as well, posted up. 
the conversion is unsuccessful. Want to give another big shout out while I'm here? Because I can, I'm here. Shout out to the Thundering Herd at the Waikato Union. That's our uh, the cave and the people of the development team. All the I've heard stories. The money that we all do out of the community to grow the game and the participation both in the, the female space and the boys space. So, uh, I might have heard stories, then, but they've all been good ones, mate. You, you guys do a lot of good work, especially for the Wahini and the Waikato. Yeah, I think Foxy's just going to give us a day off. Maybe a couple of so Foxy, I'll hear you. Hope you listen to that anyway. It's hey. quite official. It's on, it's on line. Here we go. All boys kicking off gone long. Uh, here's my favourite, our number 10, 15, Kipson. Uh, he's got a beautiful, he's got a beautiful. Oh. 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 People in the ground standing here now giving the contract. Let's go, Roy! Not sure what contract that is, but uh, he's actually not doing anything wrong today. And that's probably what um, you, you need from a key pivot in his position anyway. So, old boys got to work hard and made lots of changes here with their pet, their, their change of hooker. Yeah, so a small number 19 coming on. Yep. I would like to say to the hotel big crowd that it was straight, it was just straight down the old boys' line. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I thought that needed to be said, Dino. I didn't get much of a response out of it. Dino, could you ask Larky to be better straight? Uh, well, that could throws... Could he see out of his one eye? <laughs> that throws a bit like Larky's line. <laughs> Hang on, I've just hit. Hang on, the clerk has just ceased me. Straight as a dying seat. <laughs> Hotel will put themselves under a mixed pressure by about 20 metres backwards. Oh, nice scrum. No, he's actually got a right foot kick this young uh, 10 and 12, 15. I think young Cole Northcote uh, thought the same as I did. I thought that was going to be touch and go, but missed touch by about 5 metres. Yeah, they're putting themselves under a lot of pressure here. The young Farron at nine, he's been uh, substituted off. He's had a fantastic game uh, controlling um, the, probably the tempo of where Hope's up been playing. Great kicking game, and he's had a lot of dabs uh, through, the, through the field. Young uh, Jordan Santi's on. It's great to see him getting this chance here for the friends. Come up through the grades at Cambridge High School. This one now. Uh, that's a penalty to old boys not holding on. Uh, the Freeze. pullback was straight over the top of that. Was it? Yeah. Uh, well, 15. I think he just made a call. Judge, but, but anyway, he's made a call. And, um... Sorry, Dino, I did mean legally. <laughs> yeah. No, I definitely meant legally. Really did that. Four substitutions coming on. 16 and 18 there for the home side. Number 16 and 18 are coming on for Hope Tucker and they look don't look like small lads either anyway. So we've got Jackson and we've got Baesi. Rather looking good. Nick Jeff Coates come off. Um, he had an outstanding game. Um, great line out. Forward of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Fozzie would be happy with that. Oh, how on a blur over Josh Lord, Andrew Smith. <laughs> so who up would be dominating that line out space today. Our boys will be a little bit frustrated um, not getting what they wanted in terms of their own set ball or even disrupting Hotup. So Hotup once again over the halfway. Great carry, bringing on some nice, fresh, uh, big, big timbers coming on. JT Thomason, always, always you know what you're going to get from him. Him and Davey Morris. Um, 
unlucky, they would say, unlucky Ruth. Yeah, they left behind that side. Yeah. Lara Cup action kicking off on the 15th of July. Yep. A away game against Diapenny. Diapenny, the girls are in camp today, so hopefully having a great day out of Raglan. They were there for two days, we went yep. out this morning. Uh, overnight stay, and we've got a squad of about 40 plus of uh, the Black Ferns away, so uh, the Black Ferns are unavailable for the first three games of the campaign. Uh, we've kicked off on the, on the uh, 15th of July against Barfini, as you mentioned, away. So. And, then, and then a home game on the 22nd, but at St Paul's Collegiate. Yep, that is correct. I can't remember who that's against, yep. but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the uh, Waikato Ferries Group Development Women's uh, in camp tomorrow at Tiamaru College. Uh, they've got a game against uh, North Harbour at Topiri 1.30 next Sunday. Their campaign kicks off with a big campaign. So, um, that, yeah. If you're looking to see more women's rugby, there's plenty coming up, including the under-18 and under-16 girls. Great to see more developments, especially on that back of that awesome World Cup that we had last year, Dino. Uh, numbers of registration at our, at our female spaces are, uh, yeah, really kicking off. Uh, uh, once again, it's uh, great work at the Thundering Hood in the cave um, and just women that want to get involved with uh, with the game that we love. So, penalty to all boys, straight back out of their half. That's a great kick. That's a great kick. And that's a great line out. I think he's just tapped it on the line. Just a bit. No, 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 the job. No, no one's really given an inch in the mud. they just hanging in there to try and yeah. do their little job. So Jordan Sandy, it's great for him to get a little run around for the Prims. Uh, been a great uh, stalwart of the club, as I said, come through the table and hustle system. Crowd's still hung, hanging around here in Cambridge, even though it's getting a little bit nippy. I just put the hoodie over. Some would say the witness protection Line going on. Yeah. Yeah. I think they had three, three this game, at least two in the, two in the last five minutes there, Dino. Yeah, we get against the throw. Well, there's our, um, our well done JT Thomason. Well, you would have thought so. Solly, Solly in the first half was uh, thrown in actually quite superbly, actually, I must say. Um, I would have thought you would have kept them throwing in as well for the uh, second half. Uh, let's see, we've got number, probably line up number four for this young fella. Uh, he needs to now one of them and uh, get that confidence back again. Oh boy, throw. Go down the back, make it even more difficult. Hopefully that's not the commentator's curse, but um, yeah, he's... Well, you, um, I think I've said to you this before, Dino, you can't call yourself a true commentator if you haven't put the curse on. Well, yeah, well, he's, so. he's not nailed um, the ones that he's um, mentioned, but then again, uh, probably the jumpers haven't had the calls at the best of times as well. So Must say a shout out to um, Matt from True New Photography, who does all the uh, photography work here at Hotabu. Dino takes some brilliant photos, no, doesn't he? No, he's, I see him everywhere. Oh, he, he takes some awesome photos. And, uh, yeah, you do need someone like that. He's, he's, he knows, he's a knowledgeable man about the game. I actually met him for the first time today. I've seen him about. Met him, did yep. a quick talk to him. Seems yep. a really nice guy as well. No, just his, um, uh, he's, been, he's been a great asset for um, even woke up and rugby and taking photos of my woman's team um, 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 and then sent them through. It's been fantastic. So thank, thank him for his. Uh, you know, volunteer um, services. <laughs> Kitson, once again, has just kicked the midfield of boys here. Look, the good defense have come up in the midfield. JP Thomas and has shot him down in the midfield. Old boys forwards are still coming around to sort of help secure that one here. Um, T Ray is really trying to have hardest to, to get that game line for his teammates. And that could be what the uh, the day is looking like for all boys there, Ben. It's, it's pretty much summed it up for them. Um, I remember commentating a game out here, uh, Hotobu versus Tiamudu, and Tiamudu, yeah. you know, it was one of those days for them last season as well, but they got over the line and then knocked it on. Well, you yeah, know, I suppose they... you wind back the clock back in the days, I'm not talking a long time, and maybe my mate over here, Chucky Carl, might have been coaching it back in those days, and Chucky, when we played all boys, like we get pumped, and, um, and Andrew Strawbridge and Kevin Putt, we're playing paper, scissors, rock, you'll take the conversion. 
So that's how uh, things have changed nowadays. So I'm sure Hotop are uh, reaping the rewards of uh, maybe the victory. It's a bit early days, but it's uh, looking healthy for the local team here in the uh, red and white. Welcome back anyway, Chucky. Good to see you here, my friend. Any changes in what you've seen from the day you were coaching the play for the club? Yeah, well, yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black shorts too, yeah. Black shorts. Yeah, yeah. They've got the stripes, though, mate. They've got the stripes. Might have a few jerseys. And, and while we've got a little bit of a break here, we're talking about old boys here. I'm going to throw another plug out here. Congratulations out to the um, the Huskies for winning their. Uh, sorry, sorry, Dino. I did think about that in the first half, and I was going to take that on board. I, I should say that you take it away, mate. You no, take it away. It's your team. You guys no, played no, no, well no, in that uh, in that final. No, no, no. no. Just got to congratulate the Huskies for yep. a three peat. Um, but it was. Well done to Melville though on that day. They made that final. Very interesting for the last they, they, 65 they came up with the game plan in the first 65 minutes, as you said, were gone. You know, they were in it um, and could credit to them. So, no, the girl space is in, in, in a great space at the moment. So, that's a shout out and to the good Great energy, Hotop is brought off the bench here just to keep that continuity. You've still got. Um, Hamilton Burt still kicking away. Aiden Johnson. You know you're going to get a hundred out of them for 80 minutes. JT Thompson. Here he is, JT. Look at oh, Just the versatility of the young fella. Just those little individual little um, skills from uh, JT Thompson and many others, but they, they just kept the team going forward. And to be fair, Dino, I did not think that kick was on no, at all. No, no, that, that, no. that to me, there was not a chance for that to be uh, the right decision. Well, I suppose if you knew you had pace like that outside you, why not? You know, um, and he is. He's not far from being the one who's what second top try scorer in the comp at the moment. Uh, no, Waisaki. Yeah. No, no. That, that, well, I mean, um, I think one of the Tiamu boys is in tie with him at top. Oh, he scored two today. Well, there you go. So maybe he might be the top. Today, don't have a feet. score from Tiamuri from the university though. They are training six 0 against the previously um, team without a win margin. Oh, current score! Wow. Well, that was what I've seen at least. <laughs> that Waisaki um, out of Rotorua boys high. Um, He's, a, he's, he's, a, he's an aim to watch out for over the next uh, year or two. I'll uh, place like that. But I'm sure there's plenty of super, super rugby uh, franchise uh, wanting his name on, on a top eight. We'll just quickly put that replay in. You yeah, see the ball. JT Thomas, look at that skill. Yep. It's just set up for Salibar, isn't it? And just, just the pure pace. Four points to five. Um, yeah. That's a great kick. That's got some bit of snow plus on it. <laughs> Old boys still competing. They're not, they're, they're not giving up. They want to have a crack. They want to get some points on the board. Yeah, that's when we played the last They want to yeah. say that hey, they could be beaten by a good team today, but they want, want to make sure they make it difficult. Here we go, all boys counter counter attacking here. Head in the midfield, he's getting a bit lost. The goal way too close here, two knock ons. Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened. He did well until he sort of offloaded and out of his I, I, I think he was still juggling with it while he tried to yeah, offload yeah, and yeah, they, they, then it fell to the hell to your hand and Hotel knocked it on as well. So if, you, if you look at the old boy structure that there was um, there's nothing much getting organised uh, off the ball, so to speak, Bev, and the next phases all waiting for something to happen. Not quite getting themselves in a position to, to, to exploit. 
I don't think he's taken their whole back line of four players apart from one to the left hand side to keep an isolated winger out here with the full back so looking after a few injuries here. So what is Hope you've got planned up here? Put in the old boys full back right in the middle of the field so he can be to the far left corner uh, for possibly young white sucky to use the speed to, to, to to capitalise into that corner. So we're up to 76 minutes, four minutes to go. And the uh, Murmur Shield, Pataruru 31 10 winners over Ohapu. 31 10, that's a big score for Pataruru. Uh, uh, they've just started to hit their straps as a That was at home as well, at Pataruru. Yep. Here we go. Well, they decided to go uh, blind with. Uh, Lauaki picking up from the base of the scrum, Jordan Santi, Hamilton Burke, ready there for the, for the carry. <laughs> Eli there ready to, he's a great asset to bring off the bench, he brought plenty of energy, same here. Yeah, Hotup has actually brought some good energy on the bench. Keep that sort of continuity going. Old boys under immense pressure there. Forcing that kick. That's a good clearing kick though by Old Boys. Probably for the last five, ten years. You know, it's been a 22 man game, hasn't it? Rather than the 15. It's been about the depth of your yeah. bench, not just your 15 players you start with. Yeah, um, yeah, you look at Odo at the very, very beginning, you know, they started with a good punch and uh, you know, they were looking to stamp their mark and beating Hotaku in round one away down at Odo. Um, and they had some good depth, they still you know, got good culture, but um, as soon as you lose a couple of key players, um, it makes a big difference outside of that 22. <laughs> Yeah, the throw was the throw was good, just straight through uh, straight through the hands. Cam's really lost its shape the last five minutes. Um, turned a bit scrappy, probably yeah. since uh, Sully Bell's last try. Well, maybe I think I'm um, going to be quite keen to put another five points uh, over the line. I think either team, like I mean, this could come down to um, points differential at the end of this. Get the end of the uh, in two weeks. Uh, next week, sorry. There's the crowd favourite. Oh, no, sorry, not Santi. Who oh, was the first five, sorry? No, K Kitson. Kitson. Yeah, sorry, uh, Daniel Kitson. He's come off and uh, Dean to be the crowd favourite. Um, player of the day. Uh, he played player, player of the day. day, you know, he's going to get a fire to coat <laughs> afterwards. Uh, they're good on him. Considering he only came to watch one day and he's playing. <laughs> Registered, of course. Yeah, yep. and they're not giving up, they're really still playing out to the 80th minute. Josh Lord, he'd be pleased to see the end of this game to get, 80, get some game minutes. Still going. Here we go, this is what old boys are either renowned for, or just needed that one extra offload and they could have been through. Hot up with your numbers, I bet you David Morris is tucked away in there annoying people. No, I think David Morris might be off. <laughs> and that's a penalty to old boys. Off the feet. Tap and go. Not sure if they're ready for it, but here we are. Luke's gone, put it out wide. Here we go, this is this is either just going to haunt them or a favour for them. But um, old boys is going to tap and go again. One of the big moments in this game, Dino, has been the fact that uh, Luke Masterday was being very quiet for most of it. Last game we live streamed it. He was busy everywhere. It was quite instrumental in why they were able to beat Mouse. Yeah. 
and, and you think about those few moments that uh, Odd Boys have had in this game, it's pretty much been started by Luke. Yeah. No, 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 100%. I mean, people have their off day, but uh, normally Luke's pretty, pretty on, really. I wouldn't call it off, I'd just say quiet. Quiet, quiet. Yeah. He's always an exciting player. Right, here we go. You, don't, you wouldn't want to go anywhere apart from two. Because uh, these conditions don't allow this uh, young hooker to the go. The belly yeah, right, there we go. He's nailed one. Well done. <laughs> noise from the crowd. Oh, here we go. It's another, look at the size of these backs. Yes! But, hey, we're going to call him. Ruckers pulled, referees pulled him, pulled him up. He's not too sure about that call there. Um, <laughs> you neither want to plug the corner, wouldn't you? Plug the corner and go for the post. Just, just keep going. Um, I mean, yeah. Howard on Birds pointing to the corner, JT Thomas is pointing to the goalpost, the, the halfback's just doing what he wants. As a, as a good halfback would. As, you know, all halfbacks, they, when you think of um, Byron Callagher and Justin Marshall and even Aaron Smith, TJ Pionar and Brad Weber a bit too, they do what they like. So now we're in the referee's hands, what's your time? I'd probably say he might blow it up over the next sort of breakdown. That's another great throw. A great throw, great take. Hope up through well. You've got literally 19, meet, 20 odd meters, and well, you go all the way, Bev. Why not, eh? It's not a good draw. Oh, it's a long way, but um, yep. Right. Right. Referee has caught it down, turnover, and is he going to call full time? Yes, he is. 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 <laughs> at 41 points to 5 in favour of Hotaku. Yeah, it's been, um, I mean, 